What's up guys, I'm back with some OUPL and we see Rodri U-turn out of the probably Assault West Torn. Well, you're making a risky play there. I don't know if you would have left the T-Bolt. Because like, it's electric terrain boosted. But yeah, I just saw this pop. It's just started, so let me add some music in the background. Haven't done that yet. Let me just do Team Skull, that's always nice. Team Skull is fucking goat music. Okay, so he gets the U-turn into Mega Mawal here. And it could potentially go for SD, he got the Tapu Fini, but... I guess Thunder Punch is an option, okay, he goes for Player of. Player of hit everything on Rory's team besides the Bronze. And he has 5 and gets a crit. That probably mattered, because I assume he was defensive. Okay, the music is here now. Yeah, that crit his ass. Like, he could have gone rocks up, or... I don't know if he's a pseudo trick room team. I assume it's just Earthquake, HP, Ice, Stealth Rock, Gyroball, Bronzo. So, this looks to be... I think it's a Zard Y on this team. So, well, you can... <laughs> Either go to Ladi or to Torn here. Like, I mean, yeah, if he predicts that X, he goes to land, though, but... Hmm. Let me fix this dimension thing here. Pop. I'd probably go Ladi here, depending on the Ladi set. Like, depending on if it's Scarf, because if it's Scarf, even if Zard goes for Dragon and it's Zard X, you can still revenge it. But I guess if he's Zard X, he could predict the lighting with a Dragon Claw. But yeah, he's Zard Y, as expected. But I feel like Ladi was the play there, like the mid ground play. Like, going land was way too risky. You get cooked by Zard Y. He's probably gonna ruse. Okay, Sideshows. Maybe he's... Oh, that looks to be Scarf damage, or he could still be Z-move. If this isn't Scarf, he's probably... Um, scarf Grand, but I assume the Ladi is the Scarfer. The Torn is AV, the... Greninja could actually be Ash Grand. The Pharaoh spikes and the Landris rocks, or the Landris... Pharaoh can also be double hazards and Lando can be double dance. Orlando can just be rocks as D to attack Z move. If it's not, yeah, I think Z move Lando is like p pretty likely on this team. Z move Lando makes sense. We hit a hurricane in the sun, which is a 50% accuracy. Okay, that sentence made no sense, but it's 50% accuracy. And he got a crit too, so like, Rory's getting kind of lucked, but at least he hit his fire blast. I mean, the Torn still has to hit another Hurricane, and uh, um, it might be a roll. Hurricane would have been a roll, I think. I've, probably Zard would have lived. But it hits another Fire Blast. Greninja takes 85, and... Uh, Greninja can go for it, depending on the Greninja set. If it has spikes, which I don't think it has spikes, because there's a Pharaoh Thorn. I think this is either Ash, or like Protein for attacks is also an option. I think... Mm, okay, he's Ash. I thought he would go for Ice Beam there, but U-Turn obviously makes sense between the Fini. I just thought Rory wouldn't go hard Fini, because Gunshot would all... Gunshot was an option there, if well, if he had Gunshot, he could have gone for that too. So that I probably would have gone for Ice Beam, but he has U-Turn instead of Ice Beam. Like, Ash Greninja runs uh, Hyper Pump, Dark Pulse, Water Shirt, and then it's either U-Turn, Ice Beam, or Spikes in the last slot. So yeah, having U-Turn means he doesn't have Ice Beam, unless he's running some Wild Set. Brings in the Mega Maw, well, he can go for Fire Fang or Plerov. Plerov is probably a better play. He can even go for SD. I don't know why I said it that weird. But yeah, Plerov hits everything harder. Like, Plerov, in case he goes, wants to go Fini on a Fire Fang. Even though Fini doesn't really beat Maw, well, like, unless it has, like, Surf, then it can 2 it KO Maw, well. but they just manage into Moonbus, doesn't kill Maw. Well. So, yeah, just Plerov again here. Kills the Zard. Why? I like that they have like 
kind of offensive teams. I mean, they have their pivots and stuff, but it's like, it's not stall at all. It's not semi stall. It's like nice bulky offense. Bandit Zygarde or Subcoil, we will see. Probably Bandit is like the most common set at the moment. And like Landers, if it's defensive, it takes like 40, but okay, it's Coil. I've actually, it's team that's almost the same, like Rory. The only difference is I have uh, something over the Coco, I forgot what it was. But I made that team like two or three months ago. Uh, what, did I have? what did I have over the Coco? He gets a crit there. So that's some revenge hacks finally for Rory. I mean, this is AV Tang, then he has Fist Death. I assume Fist Death Bronze for meta and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I have to crit mad it earlier. The bronze one. So it's SD land though. Yeah, I assume it's Z move. So he can go for Z move here because he's gonna die next turn. Oh, Earthquake is fine. Yeah, Earthquake was fine, obviously. Yeah, what am I saying? If he's coming in a little crush, Earthquake was the play. Because Earthquake still hits uh, everything harder. Like, it hits the Zygarde harder than Continental Crush. Tangles was dying to Earthquake anyway. The only thing Crush would have hit harder is the Fini, maybe. Yeah. But it is looking to be a fast paced game and well used favor with some hacks at the beginning. Mm. The Stornadis is really nice to knock off the leftovers on the Fini, so you might want to save it and go into Ferrothorn here. Or goes Heart Ninja. Sex it off, okay. I mean, yeah, Ash Ninja isn't doing much as long as there is a Fini, and he didn't really need the Ninja. It would have been nice to have, but it, he can't, it was kind of hard for him to get the form of the Ash form, but he could still always U turn on the Fini to get something in. Assume he's gonna go for Power but Stealth Rock. Okay, Power Whip misses. That's deserved. He got some luck earlier as Pokemon. You're gonna see U turn, okay? I don't know. Like, you take some barbs. I guess you can U turn. Like, you don't really need health on Coco, I guess. Okay, we see double miss, so the hex is like kinda even now, but the hex at the beginning might have mattered a bit more, cause they would've been probably rocks on value side. Oh, he would've gotten earthquake damage on a mobile. Uh, earlier when he crit the bronze on with fire thing. Um, south arrows might... Lanius has bad defense, this might kill, yeah. You're just gonna go for Psyshock here, like you don't risk a Draco miss. Like, as soon as it's, um... Psyshock, Draco... Trick if it's Scarf Lottie to like kinda cripple stall. Like, Trick Lottie plus Mawa is decent to beat stall. And then Torn to knock off items. Yeah, he just goes for Psyshock. And like the last move on Scarflight is either Defog. I don't know if he needs Defog on his team. He has Hazard Stack, so maybe not. Like I assume he has Spikes plus Rocks. Yeah, that does pitiful damage to Feeny. Feeny can go for like... Moonblast, but it's not gonna do anything to Pharaoh. Yeah, that was the, that was the safe play. Like, in case Valley just wants to sack the Laddie. Like you could, you couldn't really afford to double switch, and if you're Rory in that scenario, even though you kind of, um, it's kind of hard to say though, because he wasn't the Rory's in the back, so he kind of had to make some plays. So maybe you, you should have considered doubling. That did, that did absolutely nothing. I assume that fits the Pharaoh Zone as well. Use um, counter play to meta, Mega Meta Gross, and he power whips the Zyga that switches into Fini. It's odd. I mean, yeah, okay, Zygarde, Zygarde wasn't beating the Pharaoh Sun. What am I saying? Like, he had to sack either the Fini or the Coco. Yeah, this game is over. Like, <laughs> he goes into a Torn. I assume he goes into Torn because he doesn't want to potentially lose. Um, if he like keeps missing, he can potentially lose to the Zygarde. If he keeps missing Leech Seeds, Power Whips. So just going to Torn guarantees he can go for the 100% accurate knockoff, get rid of the lefties, tweet, KO the Zygarde, 
Thousand Arrows doesn't do much since it's a bulky Zarya and this Coco is gonna get one more kill but then it gets revenged by Scarvelari I assume. Yup, yup, yup. And this is a fast paced game, good god. Thank you guys for watching. That didn't even kill. Oh, Lari's kind of weak. Good god. I run psychic on my Lari's most of the time. But yeah, if he has power, bleach seed, he probably has spikes and protect or something. As we see the twinkle tackle, that did nothing. What the fuck was that? That was Z dazzling gleam, I assume. That, that did five. What? Yeah, he hit the power. We could have still lost if he kept missing moves. Like he didn't have Jaroball obviously, he would have gone for it if he had it. I assume he has Spikes and Protect, or Spikes and T-Wave, or Spikes and Rocks. I, I don't think he revealed Rocks, like let me see, use Stealth Rock. Wait, what the fuck is going on? In my recording program at the moment, there was some red thing at the screen. Not too sure what's going on the recording program, but yeah, we can hop over to the OUPL thread and see what series this game was for and so on, and some some good stuff like that. So we had uh Well I owe you well you I still don't know how to pronounce this guy. <laughs> Versus Rodri. And Rodri lost, correct correct. So the score between the uh here's some hikers or however you pronounce this and the Tops and Noctols, I don't know. Is um I think it's three two and three now. The Sabala bet Genesis, so they won two games with this game and they lost three games. I thought a replay GTM was Dragon User, there was some I think Dragon User had some stall, GTM had some Kofagrigus. I don't know if it was bulky offense, but it was a pretty interesting team. Uh, Eternal played a uh, Femin brought webs. I think Femin got subbed in for someone, I forgot. Oh, Finch was Ray Scarface's hype, I think that's probably tomorrow. Oh, I, I didn't, also didn't see Tsunami vs Night Fox. But yeah, the score is 2 and 3 here. While you bring the her he some hikers back in the run. So they're not out of the picture yet, they can still win this week. Even though ooh, it's kind of hard looking at. Um, Looking at the Ray Scarface there uh, versus Finch tomorrow, Ray Scarface is looking to be a big threat. Like, you don't just beat Ray Scarface, that, that boy is fucking scary. I'm still trying to find out, I forgot who the. who's managing the teams. I know that Matty Brolic is managing the Sea Kings. Uh, and I know Blunder is managing some team, but I just forgot. Oh, po Poik is also managing. I think Poik is managing with Anti. I think they're managing the Kavai Kratos Manas. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to remember who else is managing a team. Oh, yeah. Tokyo Tom is managing a team. I don't remember. I think Tokyo Tom and Blunder are managing the same team. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, and I forgot who else was managing, there was someone else. But yeah, peace out, this was pretty cool and fast paced game. I'm pretty hyped to bring you guys more of these, and peace out.